Okay, so earlier on the on in the show, I told you about the claims that John Bolton makes in his book, Donald Trump okaying uh, Chinese concentration camps, Trump saying invading Venezuela would be cool, Trump asking China for help getting reelected, uh, Trump saying reporters should be imprisoned or executed, Trump didn't know that the UK had nuclear weapons, on and on and on. We did that earlier in the show. I then told you about the legal battle by Trump's Justice Department to suppress the publication of John Bolton's book, including a footnote provision that is asking courts to ban uh, uh, bookstores from selling Bolton's book under threat of punishment or legal action. So we already did all of that stuff. Now I want to talk about Donald Trump's reaction. Donald Trump predictably was so triggered by what is in John Bolton's book that he absolutely exploded both on television and on Twitter. It's been going for almost 24 hours now. We just had to add more tweets to this story because Trump just won't stop tweeting. So here is Trump kicking it off last night with Sean Hannity, Fox News propagandist, total, total disinformation, whitewashing attempt uh, of uh, of the entire story calling Bolton a washed up criminal. Let's take a look at this clip. And then in terms of Bolton, he broke the law. I, he was a washed up guy. I gave him a chance. Uh, he couldn't get Senate confirmed. So I gave him a non Senate confirmed position where I could just put him there, see how he worked. And uh, I wasn't very enamored. He went into the Middle East. He was one of the uh, the big uh, guns for let's go into Iraq. And that didn't work out too well. And I was against that a long time ago before I was ever even thinking about doing what I'm doing now. Uh, but he was one of the people who wanted to go to Iraq. When I asked him about it, I said recently, I said, you know, about a month in, when he was about a month in, I said, what do you think? You think you made a mistake there? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I said, explain that one. So uh, the terrible, terrible uh, thing that he did. But he broke the law. Very simple. I mean, uh, as much as it's going to be broken, this is highly classified. That's the highest stage. It's highly classified information and he did not have approval. So un this is this is amazing. Trump says both that Bolton's claims are lies and that they're classified. If they're lies, how are they classified? It's made up stuff, right? It, it just doesn't make any sense. And Trump's also funny because he says Bolton was bad because he went into Iraq and Trump hired him 15 years later, knowing that doesn't Trump say he hires the best people. So Trump making no sense. If it's lies, how are they classified? If you hire the best people, why did you hire someone that is so terrible? And then the real triggering Trump clearly sitting there fermenting with his phone uh, tweet after embarrassing tweet. And I want to look at a couple of these with you. Donald Trump retweeting right wing disinformation propagator Dinesh D'Souza, who attacked Bolton, Donald Trump adding to D'Souza's tweet. President Bush fired him also. Bolton is incompetent. Trump calling Bolton a wacko and a dope, tweeting, quote, wacko B John Bolton's exceedingly tedious book is made up of lies and fake stories. Said all good about me in print until the day I fired him, a disgruntled, boring fool who only wanted to go to war, never had a clue, was ostracized and happily dumped. What a dope. And I go back again. If they're lies, how is it a problem that Bolton is publishing classified information? If he's making it all up, it by definition couldn't be classified because it doesn't really exist, right? Trump kept going this morning, completely out of control, saying, quote, Bolton's book, which is getting terrible reviews, is a compilation of lies and made up stories, all intended to make me look bad. Many of the ridiculous statements he attributes to me were never made pure fiction, just trying to get even for firing him like the sick puppy he is. And again, if it's all lies, why are you suppressing it on the basis of it being classified? And then a two series, uh, two tweet series where he says, quote, when wacko John Bolton went on deface the nation and so stupidly said that he looked at the Libyan model for North Korea. All hell broke out. Kim Jong Un, who we were getting along with very well, went ballistic just like his missiles, and rightfully so. He didn't want Bolton anywhere near him. Bolton's dumbest of all statements set us back very badly with North Korea even now. I asked him, What the hell were you thinking? 
He had no answer and just apologized. That was early on. I should have fired him right then and there. Now, now we could do an hour on Trump with North Korea and his delusions. The real problem with North Korea was Trump falling for the same stuff that North Korean leaders have been doing and saying for 30 years. Trump actually believed it, right? Other presidents, both Democrat and Re Democratic and Republican, knew that they shouldn't fall for the idiotic and unbelievable claims from North Korean leaders. Trump fell for them. So Trump thought he was making progress. So I, I mean, I don't even know where, where to start all of this, right? Fox's position has been to get experts on saying Bolton's book endangers our national security by putting out classified and secret information. Well, Trump says it's all lies. So how can lies be secret and classified at the same time? The real risk to our national security all along has been Donald Trump. Remember, Trump once tweeted what should have been a classified and remained classified satellite photo. Uh, national security means nothing to Trump. Trump once had a meeting with Russians in the Oval Office and shared Israeli intelligence with them, which he had not been given the OK to share which endangered an actual important source of information about ISIS, for example, which Donald Trump claimed to be fighting very, very strongly about. So if you want to talk about endangering national security and playing fast and loose with what should be secret and classified information, and I say should because I understand legally Trump can declassify whatever he wants, doesn't mean it's smart or prudent to do it. Um, really, it's Trump we need to be looking at. And again, I, I, I have a tweet about this, which you can look at. I'm D Pacman on Twitter. How is it that Trump is furious that Bolton is both lying, but that what he writes in the book is classified information? If they are lies, it doesn't exist. It's made up and therefore being classified wouldn't actually be a problem. I'm sure that the Trumpists will find some way to excuse that completely incoherent claim. Uh, but um, it, it is not making too much sense. Now, let's dig in. I, I, I've been building to this. Bolton deserves huge criticism for what he did to some degree, and that's where we're going to go next. If you love feeding your intellectual curiosity, but you're always struggling to find the time, check out one of my all time favorite apps called Blinkist. Blinkist lets you consume an entire book on your way home from work. They take thousands of popular nonfiction books, condense each one into text or audio that you can get through in just 15 minutes. And you get all of the important core ideas and information from that book. It's perfect if you don't have enough time to do all the reading you want to do or if you just want to sample a book before you buy the entire thing. I recently read A Brief History of Time, of course, by the great Stephen Hawking. This is a book that I have been aware of for so long and other things got in the way. And it was fantastic to check it out on Blinkist. Blinkist has books on politics, philosophy, science. They have 27 different nonfiction categories and a subscription is only about eight bucks a month and you get the entire library. But you can try it totally free and get 25 percent off a subscription. When you go to Blinkist.com slash Pacman, I've put the link right underneath this video.